Hello everyone. Today we are talking about an art article released by Bleeping Computer about a novel attack using Microsoft OneNote. You can find the link to the article in the description and I would recommend to check them out regularly if you're interested in cybersecurity news. Previously, attackers used Word and Excel macros to distribute the malware. These files were sent via email and if the victims opened the document, automatic execution of macros meant that malware was installed. However, luckily Microsoft finally disallowed the automatic execution of macros, so this attack is no longer possible. However, attackers went on to use OneNote, which, even if you don't use it, is part of any Office installation. OneNote doesn't have macros. However, you can add attachments to notebooks. These attachments look like normal file icons, which is why attackers copy the same malware multiple times and create an overlay to put on top of these icons. If this overlay is double-clicked, the underlying malware opens. I demonstrate this here. This is an executable shell script, which I copy multiple times. I then copy the overlay from PowerPoint and put it on top of the files. If you now double-click on the overlay, the underlying script gets executed. Luckily, macOS doesn't allow OneNote to execute anything, so I'm safe. However, Windows users are not as lucky. They will still see the security message, but we know that many users ignore it. Once executed, the attacker's script now downloads two files from a remote server. The first one looks like the file you expect, for example, an invoice. The second file loads Trojans onto your computer. According to a cybersecurity researcher, Async, Rat and Xworm are installed to remote access Trojans. The safest way to prevent these attacks, if you are a system administrator, is to block .1 files as attachments in incoming mails in your email gateway. Unfortunately, security warnings are very often ignored. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching. Tell me in the comments which topics you would like me to cover. Like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.